All right, let's try this again. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm going to private the last stream, quote unquote, stream that I did. It lasted about three minutes before my cheap ass computer crashed. Again, I don't know what's going on with it, but I've been meaning to do some diagnosing on it. Try to figure out why it always seems to crash whenever I stream. But another day. It's starting to get more and more annoying. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I wanted... So I talked about this at the beginning of my first attempt at this. But I thought about streaming something else today, but I couldn't think of anything. And also, I have a feeling that this game is going to be coming to an end soon. Just being that it's December. And, like, the big decision is at the end of the year whether or not we kill Ryoji or not. Which obviously we're not going to do because that's going to clearly give us a bad ending. But yeah, so I wanted to play this game and just work on grinding it out because I'm going to be on vacation here in a week and a half. So I won't be streaming for about two weeks ish. And I'd really like to have this game done by then. So that way I can get back from my vacation and then move on to the next series. With that being said, we started off with hanging out with yes. Mitsuru, and nothing really happened. I didn't get to finish the social link conversation before the computer crashed. I only heard maybe a minute of it. So let's just listen to her again. Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. Need some help. Hmm? Oh, no, there's no need. Thank you, though. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance, but far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is... The group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the leave. God damn it. Okay. Anyways, uh, last time I got here, I made a, a point that the Carrijo group has always talked about like it's a mafia family. Or crime family or something, just the way Mitsuru always talks about him. I don't know, I think it's weird. Did something happen? Uh fiance has been chosen. And this is where the computer crashed. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. Is it really? This was decided a long time ago. It's just going to take place a bit sooner than originally planned. That's all. This is for the best. My mother and father walked the same path, so I won't run from my fate. I'll do something about it. Uh, you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What could you possibly do? Still, though, hearing you say that almost makes me want to believe. It's your looks conflicted. I feel like our relationship has grown. See, I'm so glad that they went this direction with it and moved away from the stupid how do I eat a cheeseburger type of shit. Like, I was worried that all of the female social links were going to involve food. I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but 
Whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? <laughs> uh, because I'm an anime main character, and all females are contractually obligated to be in love with me. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. No, it's you. Hey, can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it. I can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Oh. I'm in bad shape. You should go home. Yeah. You're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these. And it's hardest to be alone. You have any co-workers? Hmm? You asking if there are other monks at my temple? My temple's small. I don't depend on nobody but myself. I'm the only one there. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. It's all in constant motion. Form has no self. Its true face is that of Emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. Because form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit, too. <laughs> Contrary to his words, I can sense feelings of affection for Mutatsu. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh, yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh-day memorial. It was only 19. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. I hope it wasn't one of the Tartarus victims I forgot to rescue. Too, Holy shit! How well, big is your room? I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. What are those? They are hand wraps, mainly for protecting my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today... It's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on but I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, 
Do you think I'm strong enough now? I mean, you've been a starter on the team since we recruited you, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'd like to think so, but I did lose my way. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, but grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. <laughs> it's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. I know. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. Ellipses. It's that cardboard gold medal that Sonata's sister made. Oh, that. I was thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. It belongs to you. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end, it's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal. But this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Display it. Yeah. I think I will. <laughs> I did it, Miki. Keep working hard. <laughs> if you say so. I'll keep fighting like I'm up for a shot at the title belt. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now, either. Ah, oh, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine. 
But you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too. Eight kilos, 17 pounds, 10 kilos is 22 pounds. That's not bad. All right, just one more. What are you doing? Oh, uh, eating fast is kind of my thing. You don't eat quick at my place, my siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big-time athletic college is gonna be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. That would be amazing. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I'd pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so... You can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe... This will make my mom's life a little easier. Yeah, I bet it would. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they'd get to eat every day. <sighs> well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. I see is seriously thinking about his future. I say opened up to me about his problems. I feel like we're getting closer. on chicken is almost over and it's my turn to cook tonight i'll catch you later oh there you are <sighs> feeling down today kid mind listening to what this old monk has to say those folks downstairs they're probably around your age huh it looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but you look closely. Their eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress from the day. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, but it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Hey, you probably shouldn't. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. I've got a kid around their age, you know. My one and only son. He'll be 21 this year. Just a little older than you. You're alive, that is. Felt an almost fatherly concern for Mutatsu. Perhaps because he was projecting his feelings for his son. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. It's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids. Not like we have a choice. What if they all end up like me? Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. Got some uh, takoyaki. And this one's for you. Thanks. Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. 
Just messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? This fixes nothing. I already forgave you. <laughs> Thanks. But still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you. And you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but... I didn't know what I did wrong. I, uh, think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me for a long time. I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. The other day, and everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said. It put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Hey, come on, eat up. Don't want cold takoyaki, do you? Woohoo, that was tasty! And it's not too bad cold either. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet? Yeah, I'm gonna kick some ass. Gotcha. Look, man. Me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff, but. Whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've... Always been jealous of you. You're a special dude. And everyone's always counting on you. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? What about Chidori? Uh, I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It'd suck to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, <sighs> that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader? Junpei and I chatted all the way home. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, oh, are you feeling lonely? Hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. What the hell is I happening? I what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. Better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. 
After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me, and I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated, though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. That just makes me a true he's an gamer. Guy, huh? Death teams up with he me, because that's of how gamer I am. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. Hey, sorry about last time when, you know, forget about it, all right? Anyway, would you mind listening to this old man complain? I'm sober today, so sit tight, will ya? Finally gave up meth. All I had to do was look all serious and recite the sutras. I can make easy money from donations. That's what I thought. That's why I set aside my pride and begged my parents to let me take over the temple. Every day is someone's death anniversary. Kind of makes you think how long people have been around. I'm working memorial service after memorial service 24-7. My little temple was some kind of convenience store. Why not take a break? Only I could. But I have a strong sense of duty. I can't say no to someone who needs my service. It's the burden of a strong moral compass. But, as you can see, I'm too busy. I gotta push this old body of mine to the limit. I hate this work-your-ass-off mentality. <sighs> Maybe I should think of something else to do with my life. Can't keep this up for much longer. My alcohol tolerance is weaker, too. I've been drinking too much lately. Making a fool of myself like I did the other day. Time to retire? When to quit when you're ahead. Oh. Then how's this for an excuse? We never filed for divorce. I've got some pretty good real estate now that I've inherited this temple. It's not a bad deal. Got enough money that I can retire and just enjoy the rest of my life. What do you think? What's this really about? Oh, um. thinking about asking him to come back. You know, my wife, my son. Nice, dude. First, I gotta find out where they are. I'll hire a detective. I don't care how much it costs. And when I see him, first thing I'm gonna do is tell him I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart. Uh, I'm gonna be concentrating on them, so probably won't be seeing you anytime soon. Hey, that's all good, man. Well, I'm glad this is it. One brat is all I can handle at a time, and I've got to deal with my own son now. Despite his harsh words, Mutatsu sounds like he's gonna miss me. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little bit better now. And then there was one. If I knew it was gonna end up like this, I never would have become a monk. I guess I'll go to a detective agency tomorrow. All right, 
Let's get going, kid. Like, he accidentally hires an assassin, and it accidentally has his family killed. You're like, no, that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I will did the door shut. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. What? This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. It made me happy. Oh. So it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just... ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Talk about bold. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but... Every time, I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... Love you. Sue's voice is trembling. I'd better choose my words carefully. Come to think of it, yeah. We're already seeing Chihiro. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. Mitsuro Kurijo. Welcome to the f -f 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 friend zone! I see. That's unfortunate, but. I'm glad I cleared the air. Yeah, you're not your hero, you sorry. Me it was up to me how to handle these emotions. Thanks to that, I was able to be honest with myself. If I had kept my feelings locked up, I never would have been able to move forward. It is imperative to be true to our hearts, just as you were with your answer. Thank you. If I hadn't harbored these emotions, I would have continued lying to myself, justifying it all under the Kirijo name. And if that had happened, there's no doubt I would have failed on my path in the future. From now on, I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. And then there was one again. Now then, I certainly have a lot to thank you for, but there's one more matter I'd like to bring up. I haven't eaten since this morning, so I'm terribly famished. I'd say you bear some responsibility for this. Hey, I'll yo! Do with some takoyaki on our oh. way back. Your treat? I'd hardly complain if you were to do at least that much to mend a broken heart. Skill issue. Also, there's a lot of Elon Musk, like, memes going around. So, I don't know what that's about. Hey! Oh. My reward for friend zoning everybody. The end of the year swept in so quickly. We've made very pleasant memories this year, and I was hoping to make... One more before this chapter comes to a close. I'm very grateful to have met you. Would you like to spend Christmas together? <laughs> what? Where's the option to spend time with the boys? Man. All right, I guess we'll spend time with Chihiro. Let's get going. If 
I can make a suggestion, how about we go to Polonia Mall? I hear the lights and decorations there are absolutely beautiful. I decided to spend Christmas Eve with Chihiro. Why is Christmas in English? I thought we were in Japan. It sure is beautiful, but what happened to the frames, Chihiro? Where are the frames? Look at how those lights sparkle. Oh, and the decorations are so pretty. Wow, there are more decorations over there, too. Since we're here, should we have a look around? Chihiro and I walked around and looked at the Christmas decorations. Thank you for such a memorable night. Uh, um, I, um, I figured today was a special day, so I made this for you. Handmade keychain. It was my first time making something like this, so it's not perfect, but... Please, um, I hope you'll think of me when you use it. Should I give something? Oh, crap. Uh... She seems like a rose kind of person. Let me just pull Whoa, out this whole bouquet so out of my this pocket. Is a wonderful gift. I think Chihiro likes the present. Um, the truth is, I I've been nervous since this morning. Today is Christmas Eve, so it's a special day for couples. And this is um the first time I'm spending Christmas with a a boyfriend. I I don't really know what to do. <laughs> you look as calm as ever, Senpai. I'm only capable of feeling one emotion. I'm reminded again of how lucky I am to be here right now with the one I love. <sighs> Christmas. What a beautiful season. I shared a tender moment with Chihiro. Don't get in trouble with the police. The station is right over there. Now nah, we're in cahoots with them. It's fine. I don't really mind though. I just want to be with you for a little longer. When I'm with you, I'm nervous. I'm comfortable too. I don't know what to think. All I know is that I adore the time we spend together. But um, it's not just the time we spend together. It's also your face, your fingers, your smell. It's everything. <sighs> Don't make me say it. Uh... Oh, you. I've literally just sat here the whole time. Thanks for coming all the way here for this. What did you want? Sorry, I just wanted someplace quiet to talk. I just came from the hospital. After this, I have to pick my sister up from preschool, go shopping, cook dinner, do laundry. There's still so much I have to do. Sounds pretty rough. It sure is. But I can handle it. My mom had to do all this every single day. Remember how I told you I had a chance to win that scholarship? Turns out I can't practice anymore. I just don't have the time for it. Besides, even with the scholarship, we still can't afford college. What, do they not have full rides anymore? I mean, we don't even have enough to survive. 
I already lost dad, and now mom can't work. It's up to me to earn a living. My guy, I have like 600,000 yen in my pocket, no choice, bro. Just take it. Track. Why'd you have to die, dad? This isn't your fault. I wish I could have taken you on one last time. I just wanted to run one more time. One last run at some big event. Just one more time. Is this really how it ends for me? Don't give up. You're right. I've come too far to give up now. I'm gonna compete. Even if it's my last time, I want to win. I've dedicated most of my life to track and field. It's time to put everything I've learned to the ultimate test. I'm glad we could talk. Everything feels a lot clearer now. Because of you, I have something to aim for. Thanks, man. I helped Tyase figure himself out. I feel like we're getting closer. Sister's probably waiting for me. See ya. Maybe this is what they call divine guidance. The detective called me this morning and said he found my wife and son. He said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. Ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. So, I'll be out of town for a while. I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. So I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words. I'm gonna say, I want to recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? That's awesome. <laughs> Come on, kid. You, you're embarrassing me. Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. For lecturing you all those nights. You started reminding me of my son. Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. I would not met you. I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. My guy, I just sat here and called you an old bastard, and you were like, I need to reunite with my family. All things considered, though, this was such a good social link. I really like this one. I am thou, the inner mo we now be up. Now fuse Chi Yu, the warrior king. Here, take this. Think of it as a goodbye gift. Reserve tag. When you mix Contro with white rum and lemon juice and shake it, you get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something. But I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid. I held the reserve tag tightly and returned to the dorm. Perfect timing. The battery and tire pressure look good. And I've already changed the oil, so that's fine. 
looks like fun. Indeed. Maintaining and customizing a motorcycle is almost as enjoyable as riding it. Though if I start tinkering with the suspension and whatnot, there'd be no end to it. There have been days I've lost track of time doing this and had to run into meetings covered in oil. Where do you store I'm that thing? Person who can fall very deep into things. I'll have to be more careful. Oh, by the way, the matter involving my ex fiance was resolved sooner than I expected. They ended up reaching out to us about a potential business arrangement. Without any of the marriage talks, of course. We managed to negotiate some favorable terms, so that should put the company back on track. I could have decided to burn that bridge, but I'd prefer not to shut down a genuine attempt to compromise. It may be thanks to you that I've become so open-minded. All right, before we head out, I had a small gift for you, since you've done so much for me. Motorcycle key. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. This motorcycle isn't meant to be an escape from my feelings. It's a dear friend that gives me the freedom to go wherever I please. Once I realized that, I felt that I absolutely had to show it to you. As our leader, I think it would be quite fitting if you had the skill to ride my dear friend here. When this is all over, Let's take this motorcycle and go on a trip somewhere together. Great idea. Isn't it? Too bad we'll, we'll all be dead, probably. We want to go. I look forward to the day you learn how to ride it yourself. Once we go on that trip, I imagine it'll be full of things I've still yet to see. You were the one who taught me the joy of new discoveries. I can hardly wait. Yeah, I didn't care for this social link very much. The beginning of it was horrible. It got better towards the end, but it should have started that way. We can now fuse... A Lilat? A Lilat? Alright, I think we've talked enough. Today, it's my turn to show you something new. Ayo? Go ahead and sit on the back. Ayo? Don't worry, it's just a short Oh, the motorcycle. I even prepared a helmet for you. The weather is perfect today. The view from the Moonlight Bridge is quite a sight to see, you know. Here goes. Hold on tight. This is so good. I am so lucky I get to eat such amazing food. Should I bring some home? If I do, I'd have to pay for it. Hmm. Do it. Yeah, I will. It feels wrong being the only one who gets to eat. Oh, by the way, about my mom. She's gonna be out of the hospital soon. Just when I was finally getting the hang of taking care of everyone myself. I guess what else? My teammates offered to help me with the kids, too. They even said they picked my sister up from preschool. I guess everyone's been worried about me. It gives me vibes from the, the movie Safety. That's a good movie on Disney+. Plus. Good movie. Based on a true story. Tunnel vision. Trying to do everything on my own. In the end, maybe it was my fault the team couldn't work together. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Honestly, that's reassuring to hear from you. I feel a lot better about everything now that I know how everyone really feels. I'm having fun just running laps. Body feels light as a feather now. Oops. Guess I kind of started rambling there. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Take it easy. And don't forget, I'm only able to focus on training again because you had my back. And I feel great, so thanks, buddy.
flying through his. Later. I'm running out of friends to hang out with. What is OC speed at 67? Equip Alice and head to the arcade. So, uh, the big meet for that scholarship was yesterday. Did you win? Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Congrats, man. Well, what'd you expect? But really, thanks. I guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean, kind of makes me feel empty inside. What will you do now? I'm thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. What happened to running in college? Go to America, dude. They'd sign your ass in a heartbeat. It's pretty far away. Hmm. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Thanks. Yeah, eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. I say opened up to me about his decision. I feel like we're getting closer. And then there was one again. Well, I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? Ramen put in work for me in college. But I think that's how it goes for all of us. I've returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know? I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt, even if I'm completely destroyed. My programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well... Given the circumstances, I'd assume not. I've been okay. Really? That's a relief to hear. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> you had no choice? I don't like any of those options. But if I hadn't done what I did to you... You wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? I have. Oop, wrong button. I have. I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back, please kill him. What? I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Even if, even if it means forgetting everything and everyone. Look at Yukari's face. She's like, what the fuck? I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now... It's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? I am here no to terminate how children. Hard I try. I can't even shed a tear for you. 
I guess. Downloading tier protocol. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives. I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. Downloading life protocol. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah, you don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? No. You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I downloaded voice protocol. I understand what my purpose is now. To terminate children. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. As it should be. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it. But perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, I didn't realize that I guess never got her second awakening till now. That is a big ass shield. What is that face on it? I guess this persona Palladion has given rise to Athena. A newfound strength awakened all teammates ultimate personas. Will you allow me to join you in this fight? Hell no, you're like level 20. You didn't, of course. You've always been one of us. It's no wonder Ryoji kicked your ass. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you. Wait, you weren't no before? Matter what happens. Yeah! Yeah, friendship. Anyways. Ryoji has returned as promised. It's time for me to make my decision. Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. ryoji -kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> Alright. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? 
I have. I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though back then, I had a different form and a different name. Yep, Pharos. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Yes, but how do you know she can't be Are defeated? Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? My, dec my decision determines the rest of our lives. I must choose wisely. So obviously the answer is to spare Ryoji. I said in the last stream that killing Ryoji, I think, is the bait for the bad ending. But just to be sure... Spare Ryoji. And stay as is. I guess I wasn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Oh shit, that's... You see, I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Yeah, he's the dude from the beginning of the game. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nix really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones. Creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I have to make my decision now. My answer is... Yeah, I'm sparing you. I understand. As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Let me guess. We have to go to the top of so, Tartarus. I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe... There really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. 
Here. I want you to have this. Aw, oh, it's his music box. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. <clears throat> you have forged a powerful bond with Ryoji. You can now fuse Saturnus, the Black Sun. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. Uh, on fuck. the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. On the promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus. And that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisor's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, after today, you'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji kun. I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. I guess. Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this, but I'll always be watching over you. Well, so long then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together. Let's hit the weights. I made an important decision together with my friends. I feel an unbreakable bond with them. Honestly, this social link was pretty mid. Not gonna lie. You can now fuse Susanoo, the raging god. Wait, isn't that Yosuke's persona? We all share the same goal. Our relationship has grown stronger. Now the team is even more united than ever. Oh. Oh. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest. To create persona of the judgment art. Ah. Nyx Annihilation Team. And there's ten of them, nice. So we still we still got quite a bit of game left. New Year is about to begin. In one month on January 31st, we will face Nyx. We must reach the top of Tartarus by then. 
2009 is quietly drawing to a close. It was a year filled with many memories. 